Massive new information on aliens just came out. It's that time again where I start gushing about aliens. It's one of my favorite topics to discuss. Same. It's the one I get most heated about on stream and have the most <laughs> absurd conversations with chat on stream about. And yesterday, there was a massive UAP congressional hearing that had some very well-established individuals, some very high-ranking individuals that were making testimonies under oath about UAPs and government divisions as well as general information about things relating to UAPs. Yo, did someone come into my stream yesterday telling me that like the US government had like a meeting or gonna do something about aliens, releasing aliens or something like that? And the government. It's all very interesting, especially because it's coming from people who have real merit here. It's, it's like substantial credibility for the individuals that have come forward under oath to speak on these things. No, yeah, I like hearing stuff about that. Instead of just hearing like, you know, Joe, who, you know, took his truck to Area 51 and he spotted a mother alien ship landing, right? This is more, this is a little bit more credible. It's not like they just grabbed random nobodies, right? They didn't go out there and find Jerichamo Sloppenheim, who goes to the congressional hearing talking about how the green guys from space probed his chocolate starfish. <laughs> this is very buttoned up people that have come forward to talk about these things and blow the whistle on UAP departments, oh, yeah. uh, even talking about how some people were injured during UAP retrieval programs, and it is fascinating. I haven't had the chance to talk to my father about all of this, whom all of you know is the preeminent expert on anything extraterrestrial. He is the world's best when it comes to anything alien related. Uh, I'm sure right now he's hunkered down you know, wait, 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 how do you become the world's best alien related? Is that like, you, you've seen them, you visited them, they probed you, they abducted you, like what's going on? How do you, how do you, how do you become the world's best at aliens? How's that? Doodling How's away, that crunching numbers, theorizing things, all from these new testimonials that have come forward. Let's go, but I think it's important to note that they don't present any like Knowledge. physical evidence. The evidence that gets presented here about the UAPs and everything is testimonial, which is real evidence, but I don't want anyone coming into this expecting them to wheel out the corpse of the fucking Martian Manhunter or something, or have like an alien smoking a cigarette talking about his time in deep space and his journey to get Yo, to Earth. The best ever alien evidence I've ever seen in my whole entire life chat was, was it like a, two years ago when Mexico released their aliens? I think that was the most... <laughs> 100% real, 100% legit, bro, crazy. Ever since I've seen that, my mind changed, dude. That doesn't happen. Instead, they're talking about departments and different things that have been going on for a while in regards to non-human crafts. And one of the biggest ones is about the Immaculate Constellation program, which is now fully available for anyone to go out there and read, which I think is a very cool thing to do. And also, there was this moment. Now, I learned about it on stream last night, so I didn't get to do a huge deep dive on stream. But this morning, I spent quite a bit of time going over a lot of, like, the big moments. And this one really stood out to me. Has there been any, to your knowledge, any communication with a non-human life form? So, the term communication is a bit of a trick word because... What the fuck? Yo, the fact that this suited up guy did not say no straight away... They've communicated with aliens. He, he just answered it without answering it. The fact he didn't say no, they communicated. Human life form. So the term communication is a bit of a trick word because um, no, there's not. verbal communication like we're having now. No, it's the not. problem is you also have nonverbal communication. And That's so still communication. I would say definitively yes, but from a nonverbal meaning, when a Russian reconnaissance aircraft comes into U.S. airspace, we scramble two F-22s, and we are certainly communicating intent and capability. Um, I think the same goes with this. We have these things that are being observed over controlled U.S. airspace. Um, and they're not really doing a good job hiding themselves. They're making it pretty obvious they have the ability- Yo, just fucking- I hate when these suited up people make the answers so long and complicated. Have you spoke to aliens or not? Simple as that. Yes or no? You know what I'm saying? 
ability to even interfere with our, our nuclear equities and our nuclear readiness. That's pretty big, considering this is all under oath. And not smart this is for this someone shit. who was once a counterintelligence operative for the... He is saying that they are buzzing the tower for the fuck of it. <laughs> government. Like, this isn't just some random, you know, fucking weirdo in their basement who's locked themselves away feeding into delusions. This is someone that did have a pretty powerful powerful position, at least as I understand it, and many others who came forward here, the same. They all had positions that have real merit for what they're Yo, talking about. So it is a big that deal That makes me believe that they have communicated. Now, right? as I discussed on stream, I still believe aliens are absolutely out there in the universe. Those slimy weasels, I, I know they're percent. out there having a, having a hoot percent. and a holler, but I truly, sincerely do not believe they have ever been to this little fucking space rock. Oh, yo, literally, we have the same fucking opinion, bro. Yo, I've said this loads of times on stream. 100%, 100%, bro. Aliens are out there. 100%, bro. Not 99.999999999%. 100%, bro. Literally 100, right? 100. I will stand by that, Ria. Yeah? But I'm not too sure if they came to Earth, you know what I'm saying? But then again, this suited up guys making me think that they have communicated somehow. I just don't. I just think it is so unbelievably unlikely. And if they ever did visit us, we would never know because their technology would so be so far beyond our comprehension. And there's no way we'd be able to actually even see it at any point. Well, let alone retrieve some kind of crash. Like the odds of them crashing in here, there's a higher chance that I get a growth spurt in my 30s. Like it's just so unlikely. <laughs> Now, I don't believe anyone during the congressional hearing was lying under oath. Absolutely not. I have no doubt that everyone that was testifying and giving their, their statements was being 100% truthful. I believe all the departments are real departments. I believe all the programs are real programs. All of that that they spoke about. I believe in this case, they believe that there was a real nonverbal communication with a non-human entity. But there's no physical evidence that was presented. There's nothing. Yo, out of curiosity, why could they not lie under oath? Like, what would happen? Do you know what I mean? Like, you put the US government under oath. If they lie, nobody would know. It's a crime. Yeah, but nobody would know. Who out there is going to go, you lied. Aliens are real. Nobody would know, bro. And then if somebody was, like, snitching on the US government saying they're lying, then we all know what's going to happen to that person. Snitch is going to disappear. Thing that was presented that convinces me that, oh, it really was aliens. I know they're being truthful. Like, I'm very confident in that. But that doesn't mean that it's absolutely aliens. For example... This statement about, like, definitively, yes, we have had nonverbal communication with non-human entities. Well, we also thought that back in the 70s with the WOW signal. And there's still Angela a lot of people Snowden. who believe the WOW signal is irrefutable proof of intelligent life out there. But I just think there's more evidence to suggest that it isn't. There's a lot of other explanations for what the WOW signal really is. Like, just because... He believes... Oh, yo, that wow signal's fucking weird. Do you guys know about that? Bro, that wow signal is so cool. You don't know about the wow signal? I seen it years ago. You, you need to see a video on it. Basically, if I can remember exactly, it's a signal that we received from space. You know how, like, when, 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 like, they're getting, like, whatever from space, yeah? They, they do, like, the signal things. But they got, like, a, uh, like, a big line somewhere, and they don't know what it was. They don't know what it was. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Really, really interesting. That there was 100% definitive communication with a non-human entity doesn't mean that that's what it was. There could be something else to explain it. And since we weren't presented with any of what that is, it's now just... Okay, I guess I have to assume it was aliens because he believes it's aliens, you know? It's just hard to get me to 100% say like, yes, it's aliens. I want to. I desperately want to. I would be extremely happy to be proven wrong about my take that aliens have never visited us. But at the moment, there just still isn't that proof 
that gets me there and convinces me of that. But hopefully this is the start of more and more conversations and more and more information about UAPs and the government's involvement with UAP programs and apartments. May Bro, I can hear you still yelling even five streams down the hallway. What do you mean five streams down the hallway? You, you, you mean like, you mean like you've left your computer, gone down your hallway, and you can hear me from your room? Is that what you're on about? Is that what you're on about? Hmm? What are you trying to say? You trying to say I'm loud? Try to say I'm too fucking loud? Hmm? Try to say I scream all the time? No, five streams between. Okay, I, I don't know what that means. Bro, you want, are you like in, in Inception? Like what the fuck is going on, bro? How are we five streams in between? Am I like in the future or in, in, in the past? Like what the fuck is going on? Maybe we can get some more declassified information and evidence of anything of non-human origin. That would be extremely exciting. If that information and that content exists, I would love for that to start being shared. And this seems like Wait, a good step in that direction if all of it truly is of non-human origin. So hopefully this is just the, the first of many UAP breakthroughs. Did you watch the UAP Congress hearing today? Apparently it was earth shattering. The UAP thing was today? I'll definitely take a peek. I feel like if this actually was groundbreaking, my dad would have called me ASAP. With a big What's the UAP in stuff? the room for that more than two hour hearing, uh, what did you learn? Aliens are real. You won't believe it. And they want to suck my dick right- Oh my god, I thought when he said aliens are real, I thought that's what the news presenter said. <laughs> I was thinking there's no way the news presenter straight up just got a mic and went, aliens are real. <laughs> Aliens are real. You won't believe it. And they want to suck my dick right now. If these technologies are not made by any government, who's making them? Yeah. Private companies or are you implying they are crafted by a non-human intelligence? No, my buddy Eric makes well, them in his garage. Precisely why we're here. Uh, the problem is that temporally speaking, over decades, not just the last 10 years, before, when, to put this in perspective, when are these private companies you're implying, or is this uh, non-human intelligence? It, it may be both. Uh, okay. When it comes to what do, you, what do you mean it may be both? So they just admitted they're finding objects that humans haven't made. Just say yes, bro. Why are you saying it may be both? They're basically saying, in a nutshell, like they find they've, they've got uh, objects that non-humans have created. Technology. What? Maybe both. Like they're working together, or like there's different UAPs. Oh, no, I, no, I, I, I don't think could they could AI. both be true, right? They're private company aliens. Oh, of course, yeah. What, what, what's next? You gonna tell me the aliens unionized or something? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Man, I, with it, I wish they just had three titties. Discuss okay. Him. Are you read into secret UAP crash retrieval programs? Um, we would have to have a conversation in a close session, ma'am. I signed documentation three years ago that restricts my ability to discuss specifically crash retrievals. Uh, it's like the Suicide Squad. My book the they got like that thing in their neck that'll blow his head off if he talks about it. <laughs> and what is in the book is what I was told I'm allowed to talk about. Uh, Has the government conducted secret UAP crash retrieval programs? Yes or no? Yes. <gasps> That's dun, not, well, dun, that doesn't necessarily dun. mean they were successful. It just means they might have seen something and then tried to go get it and reclaim it, believing that it could be a UAP. And then what they found could have very well been just my buddy Eric's man-made <laughs> doohickey. <laughs> but that would be cool if they have achieved some. No, what I'm seeing from this, though, right, is, like, the hella sauce. Like, whenever they, whenever, like, the government or the suit up, high-ranking people talk about it. They always try and, like, not say. You know what I mean? Like, if they genuinely knew the alien questions were bullshit, they would just be like, straight up, no. Nah. Nah. What you about aliens, bro? We ain't seen any. Nah. You know what I mean? Like, the way they answer, 
Like, I don't think aliens came down to Earth, but the, the way they answer makes me think, shit, have they? Like, bro, 